How can you prove to me that exercise is important? Yeah, it's a great question. So the easiest way to do this is to look at what um, the absence of exercise does versus looking at the absence or presence of other known bad thing. Now, for me to explain this, I have to explain a technical term called a hazard ratio. So if you'll bear with me while I explain what a hazard ratio is, it will reap lots of fruit later on. A hazard ratio is a mathematical derivation that comes from looking at a group of people, following them prospectively, following them into the future, and looking at the rate at which they die. So a hazard ratio is a number. If that number is 1.5, it means that there's a 50% increase in the risk of death for one group versus the other. So for example, if we want to know, is smoking bad for you? We might ask the question, what is the hazard ratio for smokers to non-smokers when it comes to getting lung cancer? And the answer is like 10. Really? It's 10 times more, you're ten, about 10 times more likely to get lung cancer if you're a smoker than if you're a non-smoker. Now, if you look at the hazard ratio across the course of life for all causes of death, it's about 1.5, meaning a smoker is about 50% more likely to die in any given year than a non-smoker. Which you call all-cause all mortality. All-cause mortality is the gold standard for understanding death and disease because it takes into account every form of death. Okay. Okay, what if you have type two diabetes? Everybody understands that having type two diabetes is very problematic and people with type two diabetes are at about twice the risk, more or less, of cancer, heart disease, maybe one and a half times the risk of Alzheimer's disease. But when it comes to all cause mortality, every cause of death, it's about a 1.4 hazard ratio. 40% About a 40% increase in all cause mortality. Again, that's a stark number. It means at any moment in time, if you take two people who are ev in otherwise always identical, but one has type two diabetes and one doesn't, this person has a 40% higher risk of dying in the coming year. In the coming year? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow. I can't okay. We could keep doing this. What if it's high blood pressure versus normal blood pressure? That's a hazard ratio of about 1.2. 20%, same, everything I just said, but it's 20%. Okay, what if it's someone who has end-stage kidney disease? Their kidneys don't work anymore. They're on dialysis, hanging by a thread, waiting for a kidney transplant. It's about 2.7. That's a 170% increase in all-cause mortality in the subsequent year. Okay, now let's talk about some other things. What if I ask the question, what happens if I take a group of 50 year olds, pick any age, pick any sex, and we're gonna take the top 15 to 20% in strength and compare them to the bottom 15 to 20% in strength for that age and sex. What's the difference? What's the hazard ratio there? What would your guess be? Uh, 20%, 10%? Yeah, so you 1.1 to 1.2? Yeah. Yeah, it's three. Shit. 200% difference in all-cause mortality. 